and welcome back. Today I want to share some things with you I have been loving over the last couple of weeks or months. I have some really fun stuff in front of me. But before I get started, I want to say really briefly that while I'm not too fond of the word influencer, I do know that these kind of videos can influence us, myself included, to buy certain things we may not actually need. It is a responsibility I don't take lightly and I want you to know that you don't ever have to buy any of the things I'm talking about. These are just things I have been enjoying, but they are not things you have to have in your life. However, if anything I'm talking about has been on your wish list, check the description box. I link everything I'm talking about down below this video and I may just have a discount code. And by the way, if I look tired, and that's because I am, my husband who loves concerts took me to three concerts in a row. On Monday, we saw Florence and the Machine. On Tuesday, we saw Bastille. And last night, we saw James Bay. Now, while all of those concerts were a lot of fun, I am not a night owl. I am happy to be in bed by nine o'clock. So I'm exhausted. And hopefully what I will be talking about is going to make sense. So let's get started. The first thing I have been loving is a new cleanser by Maisama. And it is this one right here. This is the Green Rooibos Gel Balm Cleanser by Maisama. And if you're not familiar with Maisama, I had Beth Sanderson, the founder of Maisama, on my channel just recently. Her and I made a video on how to restore facial fat loss naturally. If you have not seen that video, it is fascinating. I will link it down below. And then we also made a video on how to get the most out of your red light therapy. Another great video. I will also link it down below. Beth actually created a serum. It was her first product, which has been claims tested to improve the results of red light therapy by 260%, which is incredible. So I will never do LED light therapy without Beth serum, but Beth just recently came out with this cleanser. So this is a gel balm cleanser and gel balm cleanser describes it beautifully. It has a really fun kind of jelly consistency. All of Beth's products contain green rooibos, which is incredibly rich in antioxidants. So this has the green rooibos and because of the green rooibos, all of Beth's products have a faint smell of tea, which I love. So this is, like I said, a jelly consistency. It has this gorgeous rust color and I use this as my first cleanse. So I apply this on dry skin, massage it in, then I use a bit of water, emulsify it, take a washcloth and wash it off. It does a beautiful job lifting my sunscreen and dirt and grime from the day and getting my skin ready for my second cleanse. If I had very dry skin, I would use this first and second cleanse, but I have really been enjoying it for my first cleanse. So on top of the green rooibos, which again is in all of Beth's products, this also contains oat bitter glucan, which is really hydrating. It contains oat milk, jojoba oil, and a bunch of other gorgeous ingredients. So this is a cleanser I have really been loving. In fact, I'm already halfway through. I don't know if you can see it, but I have to make sure to order another one. Let me wipe this off. And this is something else I have been loving is these baby washcloths. This was clean before I just wiped this off, but I ordered, I believe it was a five or six pack of these on Amazon. These are bamboo baby washcloths. They were not expensive. I think six of them were around $9. Again, I will link everything I'm talking about down below. But these are incredibly soft and this is what I use to take off my cleanser. Something else Beth came out with I have been loving is this gorgeous container containing reusable bamboo pads. I used to use reusable cotton pads on and off. They're usually white and after washing them a few times they get disgusting looking 
and I also never had a container to put them in, so I always lost them. So these are bamboo pads. They are brown, which I really appreciate. So even after using them and using them and washing them, they don't look disgusting. They're incredibly soft. And look at this. They have this little pocket in the back. You can slip your fingers in and then you put your cleanser on here, your toner, whatever you want, and you use them. You wash them and you put them back in here. So I have been using these. They wash beautifully. They stay nice and soft and they keep their shape. Now what I do is I wash them in a little mesh bag so they don't fly around all over my washing machine. And then I dry them in the mesh bag and put them back in here. So this is something else I have really been loving. I think the container is gorgeous. It sits right by my sink. Well, right now we are in temporary housing, but we actually finally have an apartment assigned to us. Finally, we have been out of our apartment for over three months now. So we have another apartment assigned to us. We get to move in in the middle of December. And I wanted to know, do you want another Parisian apartment tour or are you over it? Let me know in the comments, please. I won't be offended if you don't want another one. Just let me know down below. So in my new bathroom, this will be sitting right on my sink. And then something else Bev came out with is this adorable, there's a hair on here, adorable headband. And this is also bamboo. And I've actually been looking for something like this for quite a while, but I hadn't been able to find anything I really liked. And oh, got my hair everywhere. And look how cute this is. It is incredibly soft. Like I said, it is also from bamboo, just like the reusable bamboo pads. And I just think it's <laughs> super cute. And then lastly, something else Beth came out with, and she also talked about this in our last video, is this heated gua sha tool. So this has a stone gua sha, and then it has several settings for heat, along with a red LED. It also has sonic vibration combined with purple LED, blue, or a red and blue combined. Like I said, Beth talked about this in our last video, and in that video she shows how to use it because I am by no means a gua sha expert. I have been playing around with this a bit on my neck and my traps, which feels so good, but I have not had enough time to play around with it on my face to give you an educated opinion. But if Beth created this and loves it, I know it is fabulous. The next thing I briefly talked about in my last What I'm Loving Right Now video, Back then I hadn't used it long enough to, again, give you an educated opinion. I have been using it for about three months now and I love it. It is the Ultra Rich Cream by Photosyme. Photosyme is a company focusing on DNA repair using DNA repair enzymes. And DNA repair enzymes, I will make a whole separate video on because I find the science behind them fascinating. I have been using the Photosyme Youth Recovery Serum for quite a while now and have been loving it. And the Ultra Rich Cream, like I said, I have been using for about three months. This is a beautiful moisturizer. It has a gorgeous sort of fluffy consistency. This is actually my second one. I just finished up my first one and I have been using this morning and night. So while it is called the Ultra Rich Cream, I do not find it too rich to wear throughout the day, especially not now as it is getting colder. It sinks right in. It is incredibly hydrating and soothing feeling. And at night, I find it still moisturizing enough so I don't have to put anything on top. This on top of the DNA repair enzymes contains shea butter, it also has some beautiful antioxidants such as green tea and acai. It also contains tripeptide 38. 
which is a peptide known as the anti-aging or anti-wrinkle peptide. And then it has a few other beautiful ingredients. So this I have been loving. Like I said, I'm on my second container and I will definitely repurchase this. Next, I want to give you an update on the Dr. Pen Ultima M8. I just recently made a video on the Dr. Pen Ultima M8. If you have not seen it, I will link it down below. Now, that video was a first impressions video. It had been the first time I ever used the Dr. Pen Ultima M8, which is why I wanted to give you an update. So I have been using this device ever since I made that video. I have nano needled, cosmetic needled, and medical micro needled with this, and I love it. First of all, I love the versatility. I love that I can nano needle with it. I also love that it comes with 36 pin cartridges, which is great for cosmetic needling, as well as 16 pin cartridges, which is great for medical micro needling. I love how light it is. I love that I can use it plugged in or not plugged in, which of course makes it quite portable. I love how quiet it is. So I really love this. The only thing they could improve is, so right here you dial in the depth and there are tiny little numbers etched in right here, which are impossible <laughs> to see. So that is something they could improve on. But aside from that, I love this device. And like I said, I have been using it for nano needling, cosmetic needling and medical micro needling. Now under that video I just talked about, quite a few of you asked me, which is the better device? The Dr. Pen or the Dominator, which is the device I used to use. Now the Dominator is a great microneedling device. And if you have it and you're happy with it, by all means, keep it. It is a great microneedling device. And to be honest, I do think it is a bit more powerful than the Dr. Pen. So the Dominator has to be plugged in at all times to be used. And the maker of the Dominator says that battery operated devices such as this are not powerful enough and can cause micro tearing. Now, remember, this comes from the maker of a competitor, the Dominator, and I will make a whole separate video on this and we can explore. Is this true or not true? But in the meantime, because a few of you were concerned about that, if you are concerned about micro tearing when using a Dr. Pen, what you can do rather than to use it, so I don't have a cartridge on here right now, but rather than to use it like this, and by the way, if you see my cheeks getting redder and redder, like I said, we are in temporary housing and this is a tiny place and the heater is on nonstop and full blast. It is so hot in here, hence the red cheeks and the tank top. But so rather than to use the device like this, of course, you would have some slip, some high molecular weight, hyaluronic acid on your skin. But rather than to drag the device over your skin like this, or even doing tiny little circles as I normally do, if you are concerned with micro tearing, you could use this in a stamping motion. So you would stamp, lift, set it next to its stamp, lift, and so on. Now that will take a bit longer, but if micro tearing is something that concerns you when using a Dr. Pen or a different battery operated device, you could use it in a stamping motion. But again, I will make a whole separate video on the subject and we can explore. Do these cause micro tearing or not? But to answer your question, I think both the Dr. Pen and the Dominator are great micro needling devices. I do think that the Dominator is a bit more powerful than the Dr. Pen. But the Dominator company has some strange business practices and I don't want to support that, which is why I got a Dr. Pen. Next, I want to update you on the BN Peel, which I also recently made a video on. Again, if you haven't seen it, I will link it down below. So the BN Peel is a biphasic peel. And in that video, I compared the BN Peel to the BioRepeal, which is a peel I used to love. Now on paper, so this is what the vial looks like. On paper, the BN Peel and the BioRepeal 
And by the way, I made quite a few videos on the bio repeal. I will also link all of those down below. So on paper, they look identical. They are both biphasic peels, meaning they contain a hydrophilic phase and a lipophilic phase. The hydrophilic phase in both of them contains 35% TCA. It also in both contains the same alpha hydroxy acids, beta hydroxy acids, amino acids, and vitamins. The lipophilic phase in both contains squalene and alcohol. So on paper, they look identical. In that video, I did a side-to-side -side comparison. I put the bioreal on one side of my face, neck and chest, and the BN peel on the other side. And in that video, I did say that I felt that the BN peel had a bit more bite than the bioreal. So the bioreal to me, on a scale from one to 10, pain-wise, was usually not even a one. Now pain is relative and we all have a different pain tolerance, but to me personally, the bioreal was super comfortable. So in that video, I said that this one is maybe a two or three. I have since done three more of this, and I have to say it has a lot more bite. So putting this all over my face, neck and chest, leaving it on for five minutes, I have sort of a love-hate relationship with this because the five minutes it's on my face, I do not love. In fact, my eyes are tearing. I am looking at my watch going how much longer I actually really hate it. I would say on a scale from one to 10, pain-wise again, this one is at least a four, maybe even a five, on a bad day, a six. So it is a lot less comfortable than the bio repair. As far as results, I do feel that this gives me better results than the bio repair. The bio repair gave me beautiful results. It gave me a bit of shedding. So neither of these, these are not regular TCA peels where pieces and pieces of your skin come off. These are considered no peel peels. So the bio repeal gave me a bit of shedding and a beautiful glow. This one definitely gives me some peeling and it is not very consistent, strangely enough. So when I did that video, I showed you the days to follow. I had a bit of peeling. The second time I did the peel all over my face, I had more peeling. The third time I just had a bit of shedding. And the last one I did of these, I had a ton of peeling actually to the point where it scared me a bit because quite a bit of skin came off and I was quite red underneath. And I thought, oh my gosh, I hope this doesn't leave a scar. Now it's all gone, but the peeling or the results I have been getting with this are not consistent, strangely enough. If you have been trying this and you had the same experience, please let us know down below. So this is definitely not identical to the bio repeal even though on paper they look identical. This has a lot more bite, so it is much more painful. And I actually have quite a high pain tolerance, but I hate having this on my skin. I do like the results, but I don't like that they are not consistent. So I'm not quite sure how to feel about this peel and I'm not quite sure if I should recommend it because like I said, I don't find the results consistent and I'm not sure why that is. If you have tried this, like I said, please let us know your experience with it down below. And if you are thinking of switching from the bio repeal, so unfortunately the bio repeal is now only available to licensed individuals. If you're thinking of switching from the bio repeal to the BN peel, be aware that they are not identical, even though on paper they look as if they are. So I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with this one. I did four in a row and I'm done now. I did a series. I still have two of them left. So I'm going to save them. Maybe in six months, I will do another series. I will keep you posted. But for now, I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with this one. And it is definitely not identical to the bio repeal. Next, something I have been wanting for a, a long time and finally got is an LED light panel. And I have to get it from down here. It is quite heavy. So this is my Mido red light panel. And I am so excited to have this. Like I said, I have been wanting a red light panel for quite a while. 
If you've been here for a little while, you know that I'm a big fan of red light therapy and I actually have quite a few different red light therapy devices. I have a mask, a face mask. I have a neck and chest mask, which I never use. I have all kinds of different red light therapy devices and I will actually make a whole separate video on all the devices I have accumulated and the pros and cons. But I've always wanted a red light panel. One of the reasons I was a bit hesitant to get a panel was that I wasn't sure if I would actually use it because I'm not the most patient person and I wasn't sure would I actually take the time to sit in front of it. I have been using this every single day. I absolutely love sitting in front of it. Sitting in front of this is so relaxing. It reminds me of when we lived in Hawaii, laying on the beach and just having the sun bathe you. That's what it feels like. So I have been using this every single day. I love it. It is incredibly powerful. So it has 76 red and infrared lights. But the cool thing about this is that you can use a red and infrared together or you can use them separately. So you can just use the red or just use the infrared. I always use red and infrared combined, but some people don't like infrared. So it is great that you can do it separately. This does have a timer. You can set for however long you want to use it, or you can just let it run. I really love this size because it is big enough when I sit in front of it to cover my face, neck and chest. I can put this in front of my low back, for example, if I have low back pain or I have an Achilles tendon that likes to act up if I run too much. So I put this right down by my foot in front of my Achilles tendon and it has been really beneficial. I can put this in front of Sam, our dog, if she has an injury. So I love this size because it does have great coverage, but it is still quite portable. But Mido, and by the way, Mido is the company my friend Beth did her claims testing with, with her serum. So Mido does have different size panels. I believe there's a smaller one, and then they also have a full body panel, which would be really cool to have. But like I said, I have really been happy with this size. Now the LEDs in here have four different wavelengths, and I can't quite remember them right now, but I will put them right here. And like I said, I will make a whole separate video on all the red light therapy devices I have accumulated. And of course, I will talk about this one as well. But I have been loving this and using it daily. And then something else I have been loving and using daily is my portable sauna. I actually just recently made a video on the benefits of heat exposure. Again, if you have not seen that video, I will link it down below. In that video, I showed you a portable sauna I got. And under that video, quite a few of you wanted me to talk more about this particular sauna, which I am very happy to do because I love it. So this particular sauna is by Derasage. And when I was looking for a portable sauna, I had no idea what to look for. So of course I went on Amazon and looked for portable saunas. And Amazon actually has quite a few portable saunas, which aren't too expensive. But again, I wasn't really sure what is it that I'm actually looking for. So I talked to a friend of mine who actually has a portable sauna and hers was by Derasage. So I went on the Derasage website and was intrigued by what I saw and I called the company. They were amazing. I had a thousand questions for them and they answered all of them. The first question was, why is your sauna so much more expensive than what I can get on Amazon when they look similar. And there was more than one answer to that question. So this sauna, my Derasar sauna, is made completely out of bamboo. So the whole sauna, the frame, the tent, the chair in it, the heated foot pad, it is all made out of bamboo. So there is no vinyl, no plastic, no glue, nothing that could potentially off gas when heated versus the saunas on Amazon, I'm not sure what they are made of. Secondly, the Derasar sauna is full spectrum infrared, meaning it combines near and far infrared, versus again, the saunas on Amazon, I am not sure what they are. A lot of them were actually steam saunas, which is not something I want in my apartment, 
because we left our old apartment because of mold. So the last thing I want to say, steam sauna. So this sauna is full spectrum infrared. Derasage also says that this sauna is electrically grounded and has advanced EMF remediation. Now there is a bit of debate whether EMFs in fact are harmful to us or not, but it is nice to know that I don't have to worry about it. And then Derasage also says that their sauna gives off negative ions. And negative ions can be beneficial for respiratory conditions, they can help with mood and even sleep. So these are sort of the specs of the sauna. It is, of course, a portable sauna. Packed up, it's about the size of a big suitcase. And I believe it weighs about 23 pounds. Now, once put together, it does not take up a whole bunch of space. In fact, like I said, we are in temporary housing right now. And this is a very small one bedroom apartment. So I have my sauna set up between the living room and the dining room area. It is really just one room, but you can see it doesn't take up a whole bunch of space. However, sitting in it, it feels very roomy. So I don't feel claustrophobic. I do like that my head is out of it, so my hair doesn't get all sweaty. And it has two zippers sort of at arm height. You can open them and stick your hands or arms out. So if you wanted to, you could be on your computer, you can read a book or be on your phone. And then underneath those zippers are two pockets where you can put your phone in or your book or the remote control. It does come with a remote control on which you can dial in the temperature. So it does heat up to 75 degrees Celsius or 175 degrees Fahrenheit. So you set your temperature in the remote control. And of course, you don't have to go to 175 degrees Fahrenheit. And then you set the timer. I like to heat mine up for a little while before I go in it. So I usually set it on 60 minutes, heat it up for 20 or 30 minutes, then sit in it for another 20 or 30 minutes. Let's see what else can I tell you. It does come with an extra neck piece because right here is where you're going to sweat. So it does come with an extra neck piece and the neck piece just zips in and out and you can wash it. And then the sauna also comes with a two year warranty. So I think this is all I can tell you about this sauna. Like I said, I have been loving it and I have been using it almost daily and I can really tell how beneficial it has been to do so. Now I actually reached out to the company and asked them, could they give us a discount code for those of you who are interested? And they gave us a 20% discount code through December, which is great because the sauna is definitely more expensive than again, what you can find on Amazon. So I will link the code down below, but please, again, don't buy anything you don't need. So this is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I would love to know what have you been loving. Please share down below. Any questions or comments, of course, please share them down below. You know, I always love to hear from you. And that's it. Thank you so much for being here. Until next time. Bye.